Yeah. I do want to circle back to the beef between <laughs> Beal yes. and Kate. Now Moore. let's talk about some stuff. It's straight out of this reality out TV, of which, oh, wait, we got something for that. Uh, <laughs> this is the true story. True story. Of 17 strangers picked to play on a team. We're all adults. Work together. I can't do you guys' job. You guys can't do my job. And have their lives taped. It's frustrating. Find out what happens when people stop being polite. And start getting Bill. I don't know. The Bill world. These feet. Never has an intro been more appropriate as we do with our reality TV section of the show. Richard, you are. You're probably the most qualified person to talk about this incident. You are our senior NBA troller yep. on this show. Let's go. Kent Bazemore was your rookie, right, when he came into the league. Yep. And you just told me during the break that you introduced Kent to his wife, the wife he referred to in last night's press conference. He was going to go now, love okay, up okay. on so instead there, of yeah, responding RJ. to Beal. So no, no, please, RJ, no, no, go listen, ahead. Listen, there's a, couple, okay. there's a lot of layers here. As a person that enjoys, like, triggering people and cracking <laughs> jokes and trolling, one, what, what Bazemore did was wrong. What Bazemore did was wrong. You don't ever want to crack. You could crack jokes about players. You could say that. But to kind of laugh the way you did about a guy that's injured, right? And this is not something that Bradley Beal is new to. He's been scoring like this for a couple of years. Mm -hmm. So this is who he is. This is how he approaches the game. But to kind of crack jokes about an injury and, and something like that, especially given all the COVID, look, you should get shots taken right back at you directly. On the Bradley Beal side, I just think it's always best if we allow athletes to handle athletes. When family members, <clears> when, <throat> when wives, when kids, when that gets involved, it can become a very dark and not a fun place. And so I respect everyone that stands up for their loved ones, but oftentimes it should be the two individuals that are working to hash that out. Because if wives get involved, then siblings get involved, and then it starts to get to a place that it shouldn't. But I do respect people that are supporting you should support your spouse but sometimes men at work yeah. or women at work WNBA included yep. you should just allow people to do what they do that's my humble opinion well said RJ well said, <laughs> um, <laughs> well said. no I, I I'm gonna say this yes I, I played with Bay uh, for, for uh, oh for yes right a, for a couple of years yes. here in Atlanta and um Know him very well, and, and and you can tell he was joking. He was. And, and it's just, it's but that just, was what you know, Brad another had way to with, it. that he was joking about and, an injury. Right, and, and and that's the thing. And, and if anything, well, one at least, you know, say that. But you know, <laughs> uh, you got to say that because it's not you can't leave everybody like that. Like, wait, you're talking about an injury. But that's you know that's Bays. Bays is is very loyal to his team, and he's sticking up for his guys. You know, and and it, I think it was just friendly banter that kind of went left just a touch and uh, with that being said i think we all know and we've all said it here we had bays on here we know where his heart is. yeah yes his heart yeah. is the yeah. same, like, as he yeah. pointed out last he's night. one of the best you know, teammates and, and you we, could we, ever have all 100 yes. you know and we know he's about winning and just this just think about this if if bradley bill was not scoring 50 points or averaging 31.4 points a game with russ doing what he's doing the Washington Wizards would not have a chance to be where they are right now. So uh, I, I think we understand. Like I said, that's where when I heard it, I was like, okay, it has to be banter because I think Bayes knows the game and knows what's going on, on around the league to know, like, yes, this is an opportunity to lead the league. Yes, and you're going to be in a competition. When you're in a competition with Steph, you better go score 50 because yeah. you know Steph is very capable. So, yeah. I do want to point out that when all of this started, first Brad tweeted, should I let him live or go the, after the, him? The answer was yes, Brad. You should have just let him live, <laughs> wait, Brad. Wait. And then given him 50 next time you saw him. Brad's, That's, yeah. Brad's wife tweeted back at him, the Mortal Kombat finish Oh, finish him. him. Oh, see, see and look, I respect it. <laughs> so no, All right, that. I want to move on. I respect it. I want to move on. Congrats again to Russ. That is the headline out of the night. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.